This is my high tech. This is my high tech uh, part of my studio equipment. I saw this for a dollar down at uh, Panama City. Everything's a dollar. <laughs> Had a, a big barrel of uh, selfie sticks for a dollar. <laughs> but I was after it for just the top part here that gripped your phone. I didn't want the selfie stick. So I sawed off the, the selfie stick and put uh, put it on this thing. Got me some rocks, uh, not rocks, but uh, marbles from Dollar Tree. You know, those little bags of marbles. And put them in a sock. Put some black tape on it. And now I got me a, a studio uh, phone stand. And it's real sturdy. Anyway, I just thought you might be interested in... <laughs> Some of my uh, uh, what do you call it? Gadget stuff. <laughs> go go gadget kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, how's everybody doing this morning? I didn't get dressed up this morning. I didn't put on. Uh, I got a whole line of shirts back there. I changed them so I can keep up with the videos. <clears throat> and uh, by sight, you know. So, hope you don't mind. I'm not really. I got my shirt turned inside out because that's where where I wear them in private. Because a lot of people don't know if they want to get comfortable, turn your uh, shirts inside out. Wash them a lot. A lot of times when I don't wear, really wear a shirt until it's just just about <laughs> completely gone, because washed a hundred times because one thing is the the seam on a shirt is, is, uh, when you turn it inside out it's smooth but when you got it uh, against your body there's all kind of different uh, uh, it's not smooth found out about that when I got blistered one time down on the beach couldn't wear anything for a long time so I started, I finally could wear a t-shirt and turned it inside out because the the seam itself would hurt. So that's why I'm kind of peculiar on things like that. But that's just the way it is. But anyway, thought I'd get back and talk with everybody. I stayed up last night and uh, did some music video. I did a music video, plucked a song out tried to uh and i think i wound it up on those uh, talking about the uh you know not that anybody's interested in it but the uh so-called great commission you know I, I, I not everybody was raised up with that so they don't probably don't know about it but uh no they had they wanted to get us out you know put us out on you know across the world and uh, go across oceans to convert one person. Yeah, but uh, no, my brother and sister, they are uh, confusing. Uh, they're confusing the new birth, which is 100% God. We have no say in our natural birth, and we have no say in the spiritual birth. That is something done by God. Nobody ever taught us that in, in uh, Sunday school. But conversion to the truth, that's something, uh, that's an entirely different matter. Uh, that's something that uh, you do have uh, to do something, you know. You have to press in down here on earth, in earth. But anyway, let's see, what's the subject I want to talk about? Uh, I want to talk about... Uh, well, let me just put my phone back up so I can grab something. Okay, it's safe in my selfie stick. Well, uh, why do I uh, why do I play uh, secular artist on my little channel? Well, I happen to believe that uh, many of them are actually my brothers and sisters in Christ. 
Why do I believe that? Well, because uh, they show attributes of God <laughs> in their character. They uh, know God, I think. They have a conscience. Not that all I'm, uh, I see through all the, uh, you know, I know that they're sinners, but we're no better than they, brothers and sisters. Those that are, uh, <laughs> I'm no better than anybody else. By the deeds of the law shall no, let me read this off. I don't like to start Bible pumping on the people, but it says, uh, uh, Therefore, by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified in thy sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Okay. Here, look at this one. Now we know that whatsoever things the law saith, it saith to them that are under the law. Now everybody, you know, and all the world shall be made guilty before God. In other words, when you read the law, you find out that you're guilty before God. And there's no way you're going to keep it. Everybody's going to be guilty. Uh, these uh, and uh, I found out that uh, church people—I <laughs> just call them church people—are not as nice. Uh, you know, kind of, some of them are kind of sneery. To, uh, not as nice uh, as some of these secular artists, <laughs> the secular people, the people out in the world, the uh, uh, the people that know their sins. But anyway, now I play a secular artist, what, we would, what they would call, what church people would call secular music or secular artists. I play them, and I, uh, I believe that there are lots of them, lots and lots of them, uh, children of God. That's what I believe. Uh, they might not wear it on his sleeve, but... Uh, I just notice them. Sometimes I'll be around them. They'll be kind to one another and uh, show attributes of God. Attributes of God. Well, uh, only in Romans uh, two and two. But uh, these these were some. Uh, uh, but be sure that the judgments of God are according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou, O man, that judgest them which do such things that do, and doest them the same, thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Brothers and sisters, the judgment of God, in this particular thing, it was talking about uh, some, uh, some of God's people a lot of people think if, uh, if they read in uh, Romans 1, they think that the whole thing is talking about uh, 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 people that are bound for hell, but actually it's talking about God's people that are doing all these wicked acts. Don't, I can't, I'm not going to read them out to you. But anyway, it says, see, uh, we can't judge. When I talk about judge, we can make judgments about people. But we can't judge their eternal destiny anyway. We to be uh, because uh, we don't know. So. And do us the same. Say we do the same thing, brothers and sisters, because we're uh, there's some vestiges of sin in us, in every one of us. Our little sins, just as much as their big sins. Uh, these people out here in the world, they're big sins. Say. So we can't do that. We can't judge them. You know. We can judge. Uh, we can judge. Uh, judging means this. Here's the difference in judging. Uh, you judge somebody, you know, uh, whether, the, uh, you know, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? You know, that, that's a judgment. A judge passes sentence. We don't pass sentence on somebody in our minds. That's why I don't do that. A judge has the power to pass sentence. So, so when we judge somebody and then we try to uh, carry out a sentence, that's when you become a judge. But you can make judgments about people and uh, uh, different uh, people. But I don't, I don't judge their eternal destiny because uh, that's up to God, brothers and sisters. And uh, he says, uh, he says these people he's talking about, and I'm talking, and if you read, I'm not going to tell you all the terrible sins there, but these are God's people that they're talking about all the way through Romans 1, all the way through Romans 1. 
who think, and everybody, here's another thing, everybody thinks that Romans 1 is, is talking about dead alien sinners, but it's not talking about dead alien sinners, brothers and sisters. How do I know? In Romans 1, how do I know? It says, because when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Confessing themselves to be wise, they became fools. But well, sisters, there's a lot of God people out there that have become fools in this present evil world, <laughs> thinking this wise. He turns them over to them. But these, I'm telling you, these are God's people in Romans 1. How do I know? Let me, let me give you another one. How do I know <laughs> that uh, in Romans 1, these are talking about God's people? He says, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shown it unto them. Brothers and sisters, God hadn't shown himself to the dead alien sinner. He hadn't, he hadn't. And over here it says they didn't want to retain God in their knowledge. They didn't want to retain God in their knowledge. In other words, they had God in their knowledge, but they didn't want to retain him. So brother, Romans 1 is talking about, wow, what a gracious God. He's going to judge these people in this lifetime. The judgments of God. Everybody thinks judgments, talking about judgment day. I don't see that in the Bible because we, when we get to the, all we see is, uh, he says, enter in, ye blessed of the Father. We don't see any judgment. No, we're judged in this present evil world. God's people, judgment begins at the house of God. It begins with his people. So he judges his people in this present evil world, conforming them to the image of his dear son through, through things that happen to you. That's his judgment. You get sick, you realize you need a God. You see what I'm saying, brother? Said you get uh, you know, happenstance, things go wrong at work, and finally you're pressed in, you're turned, and, and you know you're uh, disciplined. And well, I guess that's the word. Uh, you're chasing in this present evil world. He says the judge. He says over in Romans too. Leave these folks alone that are doing all these terrible, awful things that you read about in Romans one. Leave them alone because you're no better than they are, brothers and sisters. Uh, it's just a matter of degree, he say. That's what it, uh, that's what it says in Romans one. I don't know why I got into this, but uh, let me see one more thing. Oh, oh, okay, look. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Okay, everybody says, oh. See them old dirty sinners, that people going in? Now, this is talking about God's people. He said, uh, who hold the truth? I see them on TV, on TV. They say, hold back the truth. See, they add a word there. It's not there. Who hold the truth. They're in possession of the truth. They know there's a God. They have knowledge of God in their conscience. They know it's wrong to steal. They know it's wrong to uh, 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 kill. They have a conscience about them. When they lie, they have a conscience about them. But, you know, later on in here, their conscience is seared. You know, God turns them over to a reprobate mind to be judged in this present evil world. But their eternal destiny, uh, uh, let's see, is heaven, where God where God is. And he's going to show down through the ages to all these people, these rascals he had mercy on. That's my view. That's why I listen to sometimes to secular artists who seem to be more kind to one another than the uh, supposed uh, church people. Well, I don't have much long on this, but I didn't even play a song for you. But uh, good morning to everybody, and uh, I hope everybody's doing fine. And I'll try to make another video. might make one right behind this one but and show you the rest of my inventions. Peace and love from this old boy down here in Alabama.